guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jean, if you've not been here before. So, I'm casually sitting on my bedroom floor. I should probably zoom in a little. Is that better? I don't know. Um, but basically, I was filming today, or I just finished filming a video, and the lighting is so good in my room, and I'm just on a roll sometimes I'm just really in the mood to film and when I feel that urge to film I'm like I might as well do as many videos as I can so I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram because I love doing Q&A's and um, I've done quite a few so definitely watch some of my older ones if I don't answer a question that you asked or that you were curious about I probably have already answered it and I try not to like re-answer questions all the time um, so I asked you guys like kind of recently like less than an hour ago so hopefully some more come in while we're filming um, but I actually have somewhere to be soon so I want to film this now but basically I like doing Q&A's every month or so just because I think it's a way for us to connect to chat to feel a little bit more relatable outside of hauls outside of um, even vlogs sometimes don't tell you one-on-one -on -one specific things and then also like besides makeup just a little bit more one-on-one -on -one, I guess so I got my coffee of course always have coffee look how cute this mug is I think I just said the same thing in my last video, so sorry about that, but it is way late in the day and I still have coffee because I love coffee. So I guess I'm just going to read these randomly, no particular order, and we are going to answer them. And then I want you guys to kind of answer some of these questions in the comments below, like your opinions or... Not opinions, but some of these questions, anyone can answer these questions. So leave your responses down below so we can all talk to each other. I really like when the comments are kind of like a safe place to talk to each other as girls, um, as young adults, um, boys, girls, anyone, and we can chat about these things. So the first one, I really like this question because in my last assumptions video, this is the first time I even brought this subject up on my channel, and I feel like people don't even believe me to be honest, but... The question asked is from Kayla. She asked, do you ever feel peer pressure to drink when you're going out with your friends? So if you didn't watch my assumptions video, I did talk about how I have never had alcohol, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs, and I never have. I've never tried anything and not even a sip. Um, and to be honest, I don't. I do not feel peer pressured by my friends when I go out. Sometimes it is a little bit harder for me to connect with people um, or like strangers or kind of it's harder for me to even want to say, like, I want to go out tonight, but it's never because I'm thinking, like, oh, do I need to drink to do this? For me, because I've never even tried it, it's like it doesn't even exist in my world. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, like, because I've never tried it, it's not even a pressure because it just doesn't exist. Um, but the pressure of, like, connecting and having that feeling of connecting with girls I don't know or even new people new guys new girls anything is a little bit harder for me but at the end of the day I enjoy it I don't mind I can talk to a drunk girl just fine while I'm sober I can still have a great time I love to dance I love music I love being around people and probably my favorite part is just like getting doing my makeup and getting ready hence my youtube channel like I just like like being beautified and doing all that kind of stuff so going out gives me a reason to do it so no I never feel pressured to drink and I don't think you should either I know peer pressure is such a big thing and I don't know I've never really had a problem with peer pressure in general with any type of things just because I'm such a strong-minded person that I know what I like I know what I want to do and it just it doesn't intimidate me it makes the situation a little bit more difficult but not because I feel like I need to do that I don't know I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. And if you're struggling with that, just, you know, you don't need to be like everyone else. You don't need to follow the crowd. You don't need to do the normal thing because normal's always changing. And I think we see that a lot in today's time that the normal things are very different now as far as, I don't know, just a lot of different genres in the world. And you don't need to follow along with that. That was like a really long run on sentence rant. Sorry. But next question. How do you manage your time and stay on track with your work and still have a social life? Um, so this is something I struggle with every single day. I have, I've talked about fixing it, I've tried fixing it, and it just doesn't, it's kind of an ongoing battle, especially for an entrepreneur, especially for someone who um, works by themselves, works for themselves, all that kind of stuff. The biggest thing that helps me is I try and set a schedule. Do I follow that schedule perfectly? No. Actually, it's more or less than I do, but at least I have it in the back of my mind somewhere that... 
I really try and get my work done during the week, Monday through Friday, just like a normal nine to five would. And then I have my fun and social life on the weekends or in evenings with dinners with friends, things like that. I don't do a lot of social life stuff in general just because what I do for work is a little bit social. When I go on photo shoots, when I do this, when I do this, that kind of feeds my social realm of things in my life um but I also like I said I'm not a party or I'm not the average 19 year old I would say so I don't feel deprived from a social life um I do but it doesn't bother me because it's just not my personality type but when I do want to do that I have fun on the weekends um I go up to Michigan State and hang out with friends I will go out to dinner like I said with friends that are home or like I said things that I do for my job sometimes feel like a social life for me which is honestly the best thing about my job it's just that I love it so that isn't as much of a problem but I will say doing YouTube and working for yourself definitely gets lonely um but I'm such like I like being alone so it's like good for me I don't know I'm like it's hard but I like it because that's who I am Okay, whatever. Next question. This is from Alex. Hi, girl. We met in New York. Um, she said, where do you see yourself by the end of this year, 2019? It's funny you asked this because literally I was going to the bathroom. This is weird, but like while I was going, I don't even know why I remember this is when I was thinking of that. But while I was going to the bathroom, this just like came up into my head that I'm hoping by 2020. So by the end of 2019, I have all of my back end business side of things done exactly how I want it and I know this is a little bit hard to explain very quickly but there's so many back-end business things when being serious more serious as an entrepreneur as someone who's self-employed as far as knowing your taxes and having a lawyer and maybe a manager maybe an assistant and not just not employees that work for me that's not the only thing but you know having a media kit which is has all your prices as far as sponsorships like all these documents in my computer all this business back end thing. I don't even know the correct terms because technically a social media influencer isn't even an actual industry yet. It doesn't even really have a right or wrong thing to do with it. But basically by the end of 19, 2019, which gives me a lot of time, I'm giving, this should have already been done to be honest. And um, it should be done before 2019, but I'm giving myself more time than needed because these things are very difficult to do. Especially when you don't know what you're doing, it makes it 10 times harder. So basically by the ten, end of 2019, sorry, I want to have EJB as an LLC, have that all, you know, how it should be as a businesswoman, get all the business things done and that will definitely just take time. I will need help with from people. I'll probably need some advisors to kind of help me figure that all out. Um, and then hopefully once that's all settled, then I can set some projects up that I have been thinking and dreaming about and I will do eventually within my career. So that's that. I'm hoping by 2019 I have all of my business, the real stuff behind the scenes, all figured out, all organized, and ready to go to start some other things up for myself. Um, can you talk about the food you eat in your diet? I also mentioned this, I don't know if it was in a, if it was in a Q&A or an assumptions video, and I actually had a little bit of backlash on an Instagram picture. Someone came for me talking about it because I said I had a food or eating disorder as far as binge eating. Um, I am a binge eater. I truly am. I don't eat healthy, so it's really hard for me when people are asking what I do for um, staying healthy and staying fit. I do have a personal trainer now, and I've been really good about that for the past couple weeks, so that's great. But as far as food, I do struggle with that. I love food. I love experiencing life, and I think that's the end of the day. That's my problem is I'm not going to go on a diet if it's going to hold me back from ordering chocolate cake at dinner. You know what I mean? Like, I want me some chocolate cake. It makes me happy. It makes me... Um, love life 10 times more so like I'm gonna do it but yeah I'm not super healthy I try I do believe in a big thing of balance um, I try and switch things out here and there I don't drink a lot of milk I try to stay away from dairy as best as possible um, if something has a lot of added sugar I'll try not to add that much sugar for my coffee I'll try and um, use almond milk when I can when I want you know that kind of thing um, but it's definitely something I could work on, but it's just not something I can give you guys a bunch of advice on because at the end of the day, I'm just not a healthy eater. And hopefully, you know, that will change. I'm hoping once I move out on my own, that is something that I can focus on more. I think once you're really independent on your own, all those little avenues of life are a little bit easier to um, recognize and fix. So we'll see. 
when are you going back to short hair? So to me right now, I still would consider my hair short. If you guys have ever seen pictures of me in high school or if you knew me personally, I had the longest hair. Like my whole life, I had really, really long hair. And then I chopped it. Then it grew out pretty long, like here, which was long. And then I chopped it again. Um, so I have not chopped my hair since. I chopped it like above my shoulders and I absolutely loved it. And I think it would look so cute, especially with the blonde now. But the reason I did dye my hair blonde in the first place is because I felt like it was a good length and I could only pull off the blonde if my hair was shorter. So I did it for that. Um, so basically right now I'm trying to grow my hair back out. I enjoyed the blonde. I'm still enjoying it until my hair gets long enough to go back to my natural brown color. So I definitely want to keep growing my hair out really, really long to have... I don't know, I just miss my long hair to do messy buns, to do curls, to do, I don't know, I just miss it. Then I'll probably chop it again. So I probably won't be cutting my hair for at least another year or so until I enjoy my long hair for a while. Your top three favorite <clears throat> artists. That's so hard. Um, I don't have like a top three, like as far as what I listen to, I have a top three that are just like resonate with me. Um, which would definitely be Michael Jackson, John Mayer, for sure. John Mayer has always been like my ride or die. Michael Jackson is just such an inspiration to me musically. And then who else? Because I, I enjoy so much music, so I can't, those two have really been like a forever love. So I can listen to their music all day long, anytime and forever always. But I also just like, I like, I listen to a lot of like the pop songs, rap songs, trendy stuff. I really love Seza. I think her voice is incredible and I love singing to her in my car. I don't know if she would be one of my top three artists <clears throat> just because I like her like music now and that could change in a year or so. So I would just say John, Mar John Mayer and Michael Jackson because they, were never, they will never go to out of style for me. Are you keeping the blonde? It looks awesome by the way. Thank you. I am keeping the blonde, like I said, until my hair grows long enough to I want to dye it back to my natural color. I do want to do some fun colors in my hair while it's blonde, so let me know what colors I should do. Definitely thinking pink, if you can't tell. I love pink. So I want to do the pink hair soon. I kind of want to do something crazy like green or blue. I don't know. I want to have fun with it. And they make those colored shampoos that you can just wash in your hair and have colored hair for, sorry, like weird noises outside, colored hair for a couple days. So I'm definitely going to do that and I'll film a video. So let me know down below what color you guys think I should do. Someone asked what's some of your best love slash relationship advice in dire need of some. That's hard. Like, like advice on what? I think love is so tricky. I'm such a true believer in love. I'm like, I'm a lover till the day I die. That's just the personality type I am. But I think one of the biggest things about love you need to do is not overthink. I think love makes you overthink. I think love makes people crazy. And as long as you can stay away from that, <clears throat> I think things will go so much smoother. And I am guilty of that. I'm such an overthinker when it comes to love, when it comes to really any relationship in my life. I can overthink things. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's going to make it worse. And you're going to put yourself at fault in a bad position. So, um... I don't know, just being understanding of anyone that you feel that love with and trying not to be overthinking, over controlling. You don't want any powers to get higher than anyone else's. So um, just stay grounded with love in a relationship. And I think that will take you so much further. And also, you know, listen to your gut. I think that's huge with love. Listen to your gut. Don't listen to your heart. Your heart's going to lie to you over and over again um, and you're going to fall for it. So you know in your gut what's right, what's wrong, what feels good, what does not, all those kinds of things. So keep that in mind. Someone asked, what hair products are you using? I've been getting so many questions and I actually filmed a whole hair care video. So that should be up. It's probably up before this. If not, um, it will be soon. If it is up, I will put it up in the corner for you guys and you guys can watch that. So yeah, it's kind of a crappy video. I filmed it with like no makeup on right after the shower, but at least you guys will understand what products I use and I explain everything that I do with my hair. Um, someone asked, was it hard to start your own YouTube channel with judgment from peers? And I get this question so many times. I've probably answered this before. And the longer I do YouTube, the more I forget about how I even started, to be honest. It's like one of those things where it's like more time goes by and the story just keeps getting worse and worse because you can't remember it anymore. I truly don't remember feeling 
peer peers bully me or judge me because of my YouTube channel, but I also was very blessed to go to such a supportive high school. My high school was like the coolest place ever. It had a lot of its own problems, but like at the end of the day, it was like a smaller public school and everyone supported everyone. As long as you were just like a good person and nice person, you're going to be supported. So I'm sure people talk behind my back. I'm sure people still do to this day, probably more now than they did then. But, you know, it, it, it's not going to bother me because I'm happy. I love what I do. I truly love what I do. And um, I haven't stopped. My camera just ran out of space. Um, and I need to leave my house in a half hour. But I think I was just saying how I never really felt that peer pressure. But if you um, just, if you really love it and you really want to go for it, you're not going to let that get in the way. Um, you're not going to let anything, I don't let anything get in the way of my business. And sometimes it's actually a bad thing. I've let relationships get in the middle of what I do. I've let... I've let a lot of things get in the middle of what I do, but at the end of the day, this is what I love. This is who I am, and, like, what I do is my baby. Like, I've grown this on my own, and I never really, like, meant to. It was never a plan, but it's happened, and I'm very, like, what's the word? Not private. I'm very cautious or, like, sensitive. Not, I can't think of the word, but I protect what I have grown on my own. I protect my business. I protect my influence, my my YouTube channel. Sorry if you hear banging. My dad is building my dresser for my bedroom right now. Like, love him to death. Um, someone asked how old I am. I will always keep answering this because I feel like people never know. I'm 19. I'll be 20 in May very, very soon. My favorite Starbucks drink. I'm just the kind of person, like I said, I just like love everything in this world. So I try so many different things. Um, my just like straight up is a coffee with almond milk. That's it. Hot coffee with almond milk is what I need. Like just a true coffee. I love the ice cream tea. No sweetener. That is amazing. I love the very, very hibiscus refresher. It has a lot of sugar in it, but it also has the same amount of caffeine as coffee. So if I do, I'm not feeling a coffee drink, I'll get that if I need some caffeine. What else do I like? I like a frappuccino like once a year. Just they're so good. I barely ever get them, but they're so good. Um... I also just like randomly get like a seasonal latte or um, something like that but usually like an iced tea or if I get coffee I just get um, something very plain with almond milk. What is your favorite thing about YouTubing? Not even a word YouTubing. I don't know. I think my favorite thing is connecting with so many people. By the way like sitting on my floor filming is so chill. I'm like anyways I feel like it's just connecting with so many people around the world like I, someone someone commented on my YouTube video the other day and just telling me how I helped her get through a hard time in her life that I was the thing she did to get over that bump that was whatever was going on with her and like those comments those messages hearing those from people in my life is why I do what I do why I kept doing what I did because I get so much good feedback and I know I turn to YouTube I watch YouTube literally 24 7 i watch it while i'm in the car like i listen to it i watch it before bed every night i watch it when i eat um and youtube is just that safe place for me i love connecting with people on the internet whether i'm connecting with you guys or whether me personally is connecting with someone else i'm watching and i think that's my favorite thing like deep down that really really is the fact that we live in a world where we can connect with people around the world just through a camera just through being online and I know there's a lot of crap there's a lot of BS on the internet there's a lot of negative things that can happen on social media and the internet nowadays but um find the good find what you love and I don't think you'll be disappointed because that's what I do you know I I take the internet and I find the positive things in it and it's helped me ever since so I love it besides from that that was a little mushy I also just love creating I love filming I love cameras I love like making a new aesthetic and you know making sure things look pretty and um just sharing the love for makeup and clothes and you know growing up and you know sharing that you know I have these memories forever and I think that's really really cool how long does it take you to pick out an outfit in the morning? That's such a good that's such a good question. I'm very quick to get ready. Um, surprisingly, I feel like people would think I take a long time. I'm probably like one of the fastest people I know to get ready that wears full makeup and usually has a decent outfit on. Day to day, like errand stuff around my house, I'm usually wearing like sweatpants or even like just a t-shirt and no pants because I work from home. But like when I'm going to the boutique I work at, when I'm running errands, anything, it probably takes me 
less than 10 minutes. Um, I have so many clothes though, so like there's, it would be bad if I couldn't find something to wear and have this many clothes. But also just getting ready, like <clears throat> doing makeup, I can do full glam makeup in 10 minutes. Um, so really not that long. The time, the only time it takes me like a while to find something to wear is if it's like a very specific event in a weird dress code or like you don't know exactly what people are going to be wearing then I struggle but that's like with anyone so really not that long I would say um someone asked how I manage college classes and working full-time I'm not in college so I don't have to manage that um that's because it was impossible to do full-time college and a full-time YouTube job everything else so I'm not in college currently okay good question hey Vishan love you he asked do you meditate and slow karate yoga lol why or why not I do not. I have never meditated in my life. I probably really need it. Um, I've done yoga and I hate it. Like, I'm so sorry to all the yogis out there. My mom is a yogi. And I'm also convinced whenever your parents do something, I'm convinced your children won't like whatever you do. So my mom has always loved yoga. So I'm like, okay, I never want to do yoga. You know what I mean? Or um, like my dad's a builder and owns apartments and stuff. I feel like my brothers would never want to do that because, you know, you've been around it your whole life growing up to where you're like, nah, like my mom just said, I'm not doing that. Like, I don't know. It's so like, might be ignorant of me, but I honestly believe in that. Um, so no, I've never done meditation. I've done yoga, like I said, and I have a really hard time with it. I do not like yoga. Meditation for me, like I love going to the gym and getting like, like loud music and you know that like fast pace like working up a sweat doing something that's challenging i feel like that's meditative i probably should do more like peaceful like real meditating i'm very interested in buddhism and i know they have a high they're crazy with meditation so i really want to research that more and know more about that if any of you guys are buddhist can you let me know down below because i'd love to learn from you guys um i know they like sit for hours without like talking or doing anything and just sit there in peace and I think that is incredible so I would love to learn more about it but I will say I do have a really really hard time with yoga it has nothing to do with the moves um just it almost makes me more stressed out and I know people tell you like you need to do it more and you'll get used to it and I swear I've done it so many times my mom has dragged me to class and I don't know what it is I don't know what it is so yeah let me know down below what you guys do for meditation and um if it's helped you or not. All right, we're gonna answer one more and then we are going to end this. If you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing right now? That's funny too, because I was actually thinking about this other the other day. I don't know what I would be doing right now because <clears throat> obviously like you never know what's gonna happen, but when I was in high school and applying to colleges and figuring out where I wanted to go to first school and what I wanted to major in, I wanted to be a marketing marketing business major and I wanted to um, minor in French and I always saw myself you know working in more of like a corporate like beauty brand job something still with makeup and fashion but more of like a businessy marketing um, job I wanted to like live in New York Chicago like any big city I'm a city girl so I was like okay I'm gonna go to college I'm gonna get my four-year degree I'm gonna get like this amazing boss girl job at some corporate company I'm gonna be traveling the world like that was my dream at the time and then I started doing YouTube and it was like, wow, I can do this on my own as my own boss and still get those same feelings that I thought I was always going to do in high school. Um, so, yeah, I would probably be, well, I would be in college right now, technically. Um, but I would, for as, as far as a career, I would probably want to do something business related, marketing related. I don't know. It really, I don't know. It depends, but I love being my own boss and I honestly wouldn't trade it for the world. I know I'm still so young and anything could happen. Who knows how long, you know, social media and all that will even be around for us to do stuff like this. It's always changing, but so yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Let me know down below if you guys enjoy Q&As. And then also, like I said, just respond to those comments down, or comments. Respond to those questions down below if you do meditate or if you meditate, how old you are. You know, any of those questions that were asked in this. I'd love to know your guys' answers too and we can talk to each other. Um, yeah, I think that is it. I need to get going. I have a meeting and... I'm really happy I sat down and filmed this video. Just got it done like that. That's how you do it, you know? When you're in the mood, when you got good lighting. 
that's all you need so i love you guys so much please hit that subscribe button to become a part of this family also ring the bell to be notified every time i upload a new video i strive for three days a week we do so many different things on this channel and we're growing constantly so i would love if you guys hit that button you guys can also like i said leave a comment down below give it a thumbs up you can follow me on instagram at emily Jean beauty always posting on there so many photos i'm crazy about stories probably too many stories but if you guys are interested in that um definitely follow me there and the next time i do a q a i always ask for questions on my instagram just because it's a little bit easier so if you want to be involved in the next q a then follow me over there and yeah that's it i love you guys so much again and i will see you in my next video bye